Welcome to Weld.com. Been doing a lot of um, thin stuff. We had a call out for doing some thin stainless stick. We did some tubing. We did some. Um, and we, we did one one of these with the 309 16, and kind of dawned on me that we've got a machine back here, every last 200 dV that runs alternating current. So I want to run one of these stainless rods with alternating current. <clears throat> what I noticed that's cool about this is I never had this growing up. I always grew up on the old time transformer type machines, the, the Miller ABP 330s, 60 cycle output, alternating current tend to have a lot of spatter and stuff associated with it. It was still advantageous to weld with it at times, but <clears throat> this machine, you can change the frequency I was really getting frisky here when I was mocking this up, thinking that I could turn it over to pulse, but it doesn't pulse on the stick side. So anyway, uh, 16 gauge material, and we're gonna run 332nd, 309L-16. I'm gonna run, uh, I think I've got this at 75 amps, and I have the frequency at 180. So it should be a real light buzz. Uh, my mock-up run, I didn't notice hardly any spatter on it. The only thing I'm really worried about is, as we mentioned in a previous video, is this arc wandering because I'm, I'm trying to make a real small weld and not overheat the material. I'm going to get my safety glasses and my sleeves on. I'll be right back. Pretty quick weld here. <clears throat> I, uh, I was trying to give room to the cameraman to get over here behind me and get a good arc shot and I got, got down here at the end and I was holding my wrist against here and got to moving a little bit but I think the weld went on all right. A um, couple things to note here, hardly any spatter. I mean no big BBs are hanging off here. I can hear this thing cracking trying to, and my slag just kind of moves right off. I might have been a little frisky on amperage. I thought I was hitting it pretty good. I could have gone down five amps, but we got a little stainless weld in there. Again, any, you can see wherever I moved, but again, effective weld, alternating current. If that's all you had for a machine, definitely make the weld. Huge shout out to Plymouth. This is a cool unit over here. All my stainless smoke is moving away from me. So I hope this helps. Again, you know, heat sensitive material, short arc length, fast travel speeds. Try to be steadier than me. That's easy to do. So uh, again, I hope that satisfied the viewer request. And if you're having some trouble, message me and we'll see if we can help you out. I learned a lot on this one here, so I appreciate the opportunity to put the video together. Uh, please subscribe to the videos. Thanks for watching Weld.com. Thank you. Yeah, wake me up when you're ready. Part's kind of warm there, old buddy. I hope you got that.